At the end of September, MU Professor Royce Barondes filed a lawsuit against the university, stating that its rules against guns on campus violate his constitutional rights. In 2014, Missouri strengthened its Second Amendment under what is called the Second Amendment Preservation Act. It requires strict scrutiny of gun restrictions. This provision requires that the issues regarding the Second Amendment must be judged with the highest level of scrutiny applied by courts. Strict scrutiny ensures the government must prove there is compelling state interest behind the law and that the law is narrowly tailored to achieve its result. So what does all of that mean? Let Vox break it down for you. First of all, how easy is it to get a gun in Missouri? You do not need a permit to purchase a rifle, handgun, or long gun, and you do not need to register it upon purchase. The only people who may not purchase guns are felons, habitual drug users, fugitives, and the mentally infirm. However, because background checks are not required to purchase all guns from all locations, these people are still capable of owning firearms. What about concealed carry? To carry a concealed handgun, a person must have a concealed carry permit, or a CCW. It requires a person to be 19, a U.S. citizen, and a Missouri citizen for at least six months. They must complete a weapons training course, submit themselves to fingerprinting, and go through a federal and state background check. Active military members can apply for a conceal and carry permit at 18. After the 2014 strengthening of the Second Amendment, those trained to have a CCW can carry their guns in schools, even if the city has a ban against the open carry of firearms. So what does all this mean for the Burundi's case? MU is a public institution, so Burundi's can have a concealed weapon if he has his CCW. However, the university has a regulation against firearms on campus. But under the new laws, he is not a criminal for carrying one and isn't doing anything illegal. That's where things get a little tricky. The university has grounds to fire him for violating its rule, even though he isn't violating an actual law. Burundi's petition begins by saying, quote, The defendants maintain a gun ban using methods that make law abiders more vulnerable to attack by law breakers a ban that unlawfully and unconstitutionally violates plaintiff's individual rights to keep and carry a firearm for self-defense, end quote. Baroni's case will be one of the first tests of the Second Amendment Preservation Act at MU and could set a precedent for how gun issues are handled at the university. The Second Amendment Preservation Act was passed by voters to amend the Constitution. To read the document for yourself, visit www.house.mo.gov and search for House Bill 436.